Everyone who has a quick cooker knows how much time it saves getting meals on the table. But when you're using it every day of the week, it needs a little TLC. Here are the top tips for keeping your quick cooker clean and working well. Each time you use your quick cooker, let it cool down, then take out the silicone ring and wash the lid with warm, soapy water. You can put the silicone ring right into the dishwasher with the inner pot. Then, make sure there's no food stuck on the steam release valve cover. And lastly, if it's dirty, wipe down the outside with a damp cloth. After you use the quick cooker several times, the silicone ring can start to take on odors or colors from foods you've cooked. It's hard to completely remove the odors, but you can minimize them by scrubbing the silicone pieces with a baking soda and water paste. If you make a lot of sweet foods and savory foods, we recommend using different silicone rings. If you use your quick cooker a lot, the silicone ring might get a little stretched out over time, which can keep the cooker from holding pressure. You can check the fit by putting the ring onto your pot to make sure it fits flush with the rim. If it's too big, throw it into the freezer for 30 minutes to shrink it back down, or you can get a replacement ring. Start your deep cleaning by removing the pressure indicator. Put your finger on the red indicator valve, then pull off the small silicone seal and let the indicator drop out. Make sure that the hole is clean so the pressure indicator can move freely. There's also a silver button on the lid's rim that keeps the lid locked when the pressure indicator is up. While the pressure indicator is out, press and release this button a few times and it should pop in and out without sticking or dragging. If it doesn't, clean carefully around the button and inside the pressure indicator hole with a brush or a cotton swab. To put it all back together, put the indicator back into the hole with the flat side up and press the silicone seal back on. Move the indicator in and out all the way to make sure everything is back in place. To clean the steam release valve, pull it straight up and it will come right out. Then clean the inside of the valve with a small brush as well as the area on the lid where the valve was sitting. And check the nozzle to make sure there isn't any food inside. When you put the valve back on, make sure that the icon is aligned with the button and press down firmly. Once you're finished deep cleaning the lid, put the silicone gasket ring back on. It's also important to deep clean the inside, outside, and rim of the inner pot to remove scorched food or residue with a stainless cookware cleaner like Barkeeper's Friend. Residues and imperfections on these surfaces can keep the quick cooker from reading temperatures accurately and sealing properly. When you do your deep cleaning, check all the pieces for cracks, pitting, or other damage. If you notice that any of these parts are damaged, contact us for a replacement part. After deep cleaning your quick cooker, Run a quick pressure test with one cup of water at high pressure for two minutes to make sure everything works properly. If you see steam coming out anywhere while it's building pressure, note where the steam is coming from and turn off your quick cooker. Let it cool completely, then inspect the seals in that area to make sure they were put on correctly and there's no damage. With a little care and cleaning, your quick cooker will last for many meals to come. Thanks for watching.